OnePlus 5, 6 Upcoming Features Number 1, Beastly Hardware, Snapdragon 835 with either 6 or 8 GB of RAM. OnePlus has a track record of using the greatest Qualcomm chipsets, so this is an area where an upgrade is almost certain. One of the main reasons for the creation of the OnePlus 3T was the release of Snapdragon 821, which offers a 10% boost in performance compared to the Snapdragon 820 found in the slightly older OnePlus 3. Qualcomm has been producing its latest Snapdragon 835 platform for some time now, so it makes perfect sense to see it powering the new OnePlus 5. As you might know, the 835 is manufactured via duct a cutting edge 10 nanometer process intended to maximize performance and power efficiency. It features 8 custom Cryo 280 CPU cores at 2.35 GHz, and the powerful Adreno 540 GPU, Geekbench CPU tests have shown that the 835 is indeed vastly superior to the 821. Marking a 25.7% increase in single-core performance and a whopping 58% improvement in multi-core CPU performance, a further 32% boost in the GPU department and a 25% reduction in power consumption will give many advanced users a big reason to make the switch to OnePlus 5, ok, so what about system memory? Unfortunately there isn't a consensus among the rumors that have emerged up to this point. The good news is that we should expect at least 6 GB of RAM on the OnePlus 5, as this was the exact amount featured on the 3 and 3T, some have speculated that the Chinese manufacturer will be able to cram 8 GB of the stuff in its new flagship, but is it really all that needed, yes big numbers do stimulate sales, but we have to remember that 6GB is still quite extraordinary by today's standards, as only a few Asia-exclusive phones actually come with that much RAM. Number 2, Jumping on the Dual Camera Bandwagon Another significant change that we're likely to observe with the OnePlus 5 is a dual camera setup, how do we know this? Well, a recent leak showed some photo samples which were apparently taken with the device, and the EXIF data on those showed that they were snapped using a phone with a model number of A5000, the model number of the OnePlus 3 is A3000, and the images also hold the latitudes and longitudes of Shenzhen China, where OnePlus is based. This might be enough evidence for some people, but it's important to mention that such data can be easily altered, so it's possible that we're dealing with fake news here. Still it kinda makes sense for a dual camera setup to appear on the OnePlus 5, as many other manufacturers are making this a standard feature for their flagship phones, rumors from other sources also indicate that such a configuration will be present on the new phone. But the information starts to diverge when we get into the specifics, one rumor suggests that that one of the rear cameras will boast a 23 megapixels sensor, while others bet on two 12 megapixels shooters, a combination between a standard RGB sensor and a monochrome one. As for the selfie cam, some recent sketch leaks indicate that we could see a dual selfie camera as well, but we can't bet on that one, but even still that does not happens, we don't foresee that much of a change, a 16 megapixels shooter is expected, much like the one on the 3T. Number 3, Quad HD display this time around. In terms of display, OnePlus will most probably stick with the 5.5 inch diagonal which is typical for most of its phones. However it's possible that the company could express a desire to implement some AR and VR features with the OnePlus 5, and as we all know, they do benefit from a screen with a higher resolution. Thus an upgrade to a Quad HD panel over the standard 1080p display of the OnePlus 3 or 3T is not out of the question, and it could put the phone close other flagships like the LG G6 and Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, judging from past experience, the screen will likely be of the AMOLED type which ensures excellent contrast and lowered power consumption in certain situations. Number 4, Larger Battery and Faster Charging If the rumors regarding the battery on the OnePlus 5 turn out to be true, we should expect an improvement in this department as well, some have suggested that we will see a sizable 4000 mAh unit keeping the hamster wheel spinning on the new phone, while others predict a more conservative 3600 mAh power cell. We are compelled to side with the latter, as a larger battery could easily translate into a bigger device, and we're not certain that this would be something that the company would want. In any case, either variant coupled with the more energy-efficient Snapdragon 835 should be able to provide users with two days between charges, assuming that they don't spend most of their awake time playing demanding games or browsing the web. Progress in terms of charging time is also expected, the latest leaks indicate that Dash Charge 2.0 could make an appearance with OnePlus 5, providing a 25% improvement in terms of charging time. 
Number 5, Midnight Black to come in large numbers. OnePlus initially intended to use black as the main color variation for the aluminum body of the OnePlus 3, this was supposed to serve as an homage of sorts to the original OnePlus One, but low production yields halted the company's ambitions, as a result, the hue didn't appear at all with the OnePlus 3, but eventually managed to debut in limited numbers with the 3T, as the company eventually managed to get the manufacturing process up to standard. With this problem now gone, it's very likely that we will see Midnight Black as the prime color variant of the OnePlus 5. 6. Internal storage boost could be on the way. Internal storage is one of the few areas where OnePlus manages to baffle and disappoint many of its fans. The company is reluctant to add micro SD card support, stating that it's not a good user experience. Our suspicions are that this unwillingness is primarily associated with costs, but whatever the case, we can't really blame the company for being too skimpy in that department. After all, the OnePlus 3 came with 64 GB of the stuff, while the 3T also offers a 128 GB variant for less than $500, so it's not exactly as if we're ripped off. This year however, there might be a further increase in internal storage, it's heavily rumored that the new standard OnePlus 5 will come with 128 GB, and there are also speculations that we will see a 256 GB version coming out, if the prices indeed stay below the $500 mark. We doubt that there will be that many people complaining about the lack of micro SD card support.